worked and I'm tired because I had to get my kid through graduation and do all of that. It means nothing to them. It's still my job to show up here and do my job. Okay, arguing we talked about, being sarcastic and funny, they don't understand our slang. They don't know that sometimes. They don't understand it. To them, it's perceived you're not listening to me and you don't care what I have to say. So please be mindful of how we're talking. And slang words and, and gestures, not to mention swearing. It has kind of become the norm that we can use swear words in every sentence. Ask my kids. It, and I guess if we're behind closed doors and you feel the need to do it, that's one thing. Our residents don't need to hear swear words. Not out of our mouths. Nor do they need to hear it in a long going sentence. And using words they don't understand. I would probably guarantee you most of our residents don't know what LOL means. Would you take it as your gift? I mean, some maybe do. But I would say for the most part, they do not. So we cannot talk in types of slang. Kindness goes a million miles. Smiles going a little bit extra will make your whole life complete because not only will it make you feel good, it's certainly gonna make them feel better. I just have one little funny video I wanna show you about our tones of voice and then there's some peeps that are coming in to talk about something, I'm not sure what it is. And being married is also something, never imagined it, love it, wonderful thing. I love my wife, she's the most wonderful girl in the world. But, <laughs> there are certain things. What is the problems with the male and the female living together in the house? The big problem that I see and I think a lot of men in the audience will understand this. If you live with a woman, the problem is a tone of voice problem. When I was single, I was not aware that I have many different tones. I have since learned that not only are there many different tones, I am often speaking in the incorrect tone. what your tone oh. my tone yes your tone what tone that <laughs> is it too high too low too sharp too flat i don't like your tone you better change your tone <laughs> now the male tone does change over the course of the relationship in the beginning when the male initially pursues the female we tend to have our voice higher, don't we, in the beginning? You know, we tend to talk like this because it sounds a little more vulnerable, a little sweeter. And, you know, Chinese food or Italian sounds great. <laughs> well, we can take a start and go for a walk. <laughs> but then the relationship gets a little more comfortable. The male voice starts to come down here. This tone here. You hear this one? This is the one that I like. <laughs> I like the higher tone because it makes them think that he will fit in well with the other little stuffed animals. <laughs> My actual speaking voice that I am using right now to communicate with you is not welcome in my house. <laughs> if I was to walk in my house and go, all right, I gotta get something to eat. Any guy I know would say, fine, what do you feel like? Any woman will say, why are you yelling at me? <laughs> the woman's tone also changes in the relationship. Once the couple is fully enclosed into the bowels of the relationship. Bowels might not be the perfect word. <laughs> but when I mean you're into it, the, the arguments will happen. And in the argument, the woman's tone, all women, and when I say all women, I mean all <laughs> women, will find it necessary to imitate the speech of the man. And they will always make it like, you, 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 you,